Let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in. Oh, come on. I limit myself to two hours a day playing this and I just I get really excited when I have to when I get to go online again. Uh did some resin stuff yesterday offline. So I, just, I needed my I made it, I needed some me time. Some me time with Genshin Sumeru. Didn't actually kill anything. But I just explored a bit and found those those oof. well you'll see in a second. Uh go on. Come on. Go on, here we are. And I'm in. Eh, uh, no, let's do other stuff first. Let's do the dailies. And then we'll go. <laughs> uh. Wait. Don't forget this time. Oh, hello. Okay, it all looks nice. What is that? Yes, yeah, hara fruit. More peaches. Did I notice this yesterday or did I just completely ignore it? Eh. Well, I think we're good so far with what we got. Mike's pop up Kaching. Yeah, I will actually. We'll shove someone here. Is there any ore here? Eh, uh, not what I meant. One ore. Huh. Maybe not. Never mind. Wait, what? Ooh. That'll do. There we go. Da -da -da -da. Let's do the quests. Then we'll go to Sumeru. Now we set the quest area, so it's all in Sumeru. We'll never have to come back to other regions again. <laughs> So slow. Hello. I'm doing my daily quests first. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. And then we're going to do the Archon quest. Then we're going to eat some. Well, we might actually eat some chicken first. The chicken is also a mushroom, but eh. <laughs> Don't you like that thing? Uh, I've also changed around Tanari's kit slightly. Not sure how it's going to work, that's why we're just testing it here. I need to know what this is. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Come on over here. Let's nip that in the butt. Come in the forest. Prepare you. Can't run from it. Okay. <laughs> He's okay with stringless. He'd be better if I had his last um if I had his last talent unlocked. <laughs> Would he be better with... Uh, this? No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, oh, where did I click that? Next one. Oh, um... 
we are four away from reaching our 20 sub goal to get Skyrim VR, so <laughs> if you're interested in that, just leave a follow. Uh, right. Ooh, exploding barrels. I wonder how this will react. Where are you? Uh. I'm gonna get some more water. There we are. Great. <laughs> Didn't actually see the boar. Okay. Right then, off to go there in person. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I was using ammo spool, that, the story would probably be quite different. like that. Oh, wait, we forgot to do something. That thing we forgot to do was the test run, apart from Tanari. <laughs> eh. Things, I'm not interested in, in any of these, so do them after the quests. <laughs> uh... Right, let's go help a lonely man. <laughs> and somewhat overly superstitious old man. Snarry's ears would do it, um, move sideways, you know, instead of just catching all that wind. It must be very uncomfy. You can just fold his ears slightly when you're sprinting forward. Eh. Okay, what now? Yay! Okay. 
He's an immature brat. <laughs> Let's go look for signs. I personally think it's going to end up all and alone. <laughs> She's got the same customers she has every day. Literally the same. What is this? Have I been here before? I don't think so. Ah, uh, cute. his tail. Stoopy tail. Looks a bit mucky because he's using that part he probably uses that oil all the time. Hmm. Yep. done? No, no, still got to get the achievement for that. Uh. Now, can we, can you work as a bodyguard? Can, can, is he a good enough bodyguard for this quest? I'm trying to do, do less stuff with Shongli all the time. <laughs> I like him, I adore him, he's my favourite character uh, next to Goro and Ito. <laughs> ah! Okay, this is promising actually, I like the weather. Here he is. everything. Look everything again. Okay, not the best healer, but not the worst. Um, sorry, <laughs> healer. Nah, not the best es escort. Uh. Okay. Let me just go. Pick up my daily reward.
Actually, there is something we should do first. Uh, let me think. Add Astro. Thank you for comp. Right, in the name of getting um <laughs> last required whatever name it is Lotus thing for uh, Tanari should be down here somewhere. I'm going to set it tonight. Oh, it's fine. It's slightly faster at night. <laughs> right. Easier to spot things at night. even go this way? Oh, slightly back up. Ah, there we are. That's what I was looking for. Okay. And now we know what we need. Aha. Huh? Let me teleport to our chicken dinner. Yeah, I'll put that there. Chicken dinner is here. I didn't get that mush that mushroom pizza yesterday because I ate something else, so I'm getting it today. Every time I even think of this thing, think of how it looks, how it moves, I think, oh now I really want to eat that. <laughs> really? Really? Kinda want to use Zhongli here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I keep getting kicked around by this thing. Okay. I'd get kicked around if I didn't have Zhongli. <laughs> Uh 
We've been very lucky. I wish we could have gotten a dendro cup. That would have been lovely. Hmm. Even a dendro... Even one of these would be preferred. Okay. And now... Now I should cause much more damage now. What? Branches dotted with flower buds herald the advent of spring. Hmm. So close. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> we're getting there. Now, to the quest. Need to move this. There we go. <sighs> Tenari shall be our guide. <laughs> right. Can we walk back into that cave and keel over again? I'm not touching these things. Nope. I'm waiting until a map comes out. <laughs> so I can just take them off as a go, not so I can seek them out. <laughs> so I don't have enough markers for a map right. to do it in game. Let's see. Right hand. Hmm. Yes. Not bad. But please remember that you still need to be careful. Understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. But I have a vision too! <sighs> Am I useless to everyone now? Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are. Feeling any better? Is there something we can help us? Since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gandarvaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Roger, I'll be right there. All right, we'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. Yes, you can count on me. So, Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Tenari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but, uh... That doesn't really sound like the job for a ranger. Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. They handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. <laughs> As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps, as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Paimon, traveler, this way! Which way? Where? You leave the task of checking the lamps to me. 
In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. Okay. I haven't actually taken a slow walk around here for you for it at all, really. Nothing wrong with these two lamps. Let's move to the next ones. Oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. Hmm, no problems with this lamp. Good. Uh huh. Bink. The statue okay, of the seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came down this road before. Yep. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. Oh? I guess I'll leave it up to you then. There's not much footing once you reach the statue, so be careful up there. Hi, little fly up with you and help you with those hard to reach areas. Um, by the way, Kale, do you know anything about the Dentro Archon? You know, what's she like? Uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Huh? Greater Lord Rukudavata? Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh-huh. Greater Lord Rukudavata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her works provided a means of peaceful living for everyone. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred years ago. According to what Master has told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasana. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Well, and then... Uh... Uh... I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. Huh? You're not too sure? But aren't you from Sumeru? Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Uh... But... Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, then don't worry, we understand. No, no, it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. Besides, I don't consider you two strangers. A anyway, y you two know Amber, right? Wait, Amber? You mean... Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. There's no one like Amber. She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready oh, to Oh look, fun her. girl. If you ask me, she's a prime example of- Uh-huh. On and on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I haven't thought the work of that right- Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Kale. Uh -huh. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber, so, that, so how do you know? Well, after I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler and their floating companion. I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But, uh... Ah, so that... Yep. So please know that you two have my complete... I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Sumeru. That's all right. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Rukadavata or the Sanctuary of Surathana until you mentioned them. Yeah, we totally didn't climb them earlier. <laughs> <laughs> nope. That teleport waypoint just unlocked itself. Genshin was... Genshin devs were very kind. <laughs> You want to know about the Dendro Archon? Hmm. So that's why you're here. Thank you for telling me your story. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? <laughs> all right. We have a statue to clean. You both have my thanks. While you two were up there cleaning, 
I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet back here shortly. Okay. Come on, can we go? Can we go? Yoink! Paimon. Those pitas are amazing! They're quite the cook, Kale. Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. Paimon wouldn't have been able to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> you really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. Yay! Thanks, Kale! It's hard to believe so- Oh! <laughs> at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called... Well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, sages from the Academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? They've always wanted to pet them, too. <laughs> anyway, Master could have easily left the rainforest <laughs> to take up a position at the Academia. But he chose to stay here instead as a forest watcher, helping the locals every day and passing on his knowledge to trainees. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make pita pockets. Really? I'm not what it's... Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after Paimon's still kinda upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. Oh no, I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little, but uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling. Why, oh why? Is she going to die? <laughs> he probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. Hey! <laughs> the writers. <laughs> Congratulations, Paimon, you made her really uncomfortable. Huh? What was up with Kali just now? And why is she in such a hurry? Huh. 
Returned. Yep, we're back. Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Oh, Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Okay. <laughs> Let's just manipulate time a little bit. I'm sure no one will notice when time suddenly just fast forwards. I was just about to go look for you. Huh? Kainari? What are you doing here? Where's Kale? I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. You mean she's sick? How could she be- No, no need to worry. <laughs> something as small as you could never harm her. Uh, this sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. So, Tainari, what's real- Um, let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Nari? Where are you? All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. So, just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because, well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. But she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. So, Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. By any chance, was the dev who wrote this script, perhaps? watching Game of Thrones at a time. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. That sounds terrifying. Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, 
Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. What? The Fatui? Ah, it appears you are already familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this Doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. Yep. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Kainari. We'll take good care of her. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though, I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too much for her now. <sighs> All right. Now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. Yeah, we'd like to do something to help Kale too. All right. But I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering like the Traveler. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. No problem. Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as uh. Lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. About that. Uh. <laughs> hey, Kainari? Where exactly are we going to find this plant? Lunar Lotus can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gundarvaville. I know, I kind of hmm. harvested it Given all. the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. Lunar Lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. Oh. Come on, hush, I find this interesting. Why, he's interesting. I'll never remember it, but I do actually like listening to that sort of stuff. Oops. That was probably accidental. them.
There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. About if that. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once uh -huh. you've gathered the needed amount. Look, about that, I kind of, um... <laughs> oh. Are they glowing again? Oh, it's fresh. Okay, that's fine. As long as you make that distinction. <laughs> I was worried. You'd have to go to, into co-op. Grab some more just in case. Uh, oh, that's weird. Okay. Hey, Tainari! We found the lotuses you requested. Let me take a look. Hmm. Good, very good. These are all excellent quality. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other things I need. Hey, Tainari! Maybe not. Oh, Tainari! Someone's calling your name! Ah yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are they doing back so early? Let's go find out what's going on. Yep, something weird's going on. <sighs> Do I have any of these spare? Just curious. No, okay. <laughs> nice to know. Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already clear just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry. I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. So we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gondarvaville. Actually, don't. There's a lotus right there. Why don't you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision. That That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. But you don't seem to carry a vision. Don't worry. She may not have a vision. Hmm. It seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, all right, you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundaraville. We'll make an exception today. And show you what it looks like up close. Ooh, lotus. It's just an ordinary lotus. Any more? No, I'll just have to wait for him to respawn. <sighs> Stop. Don't move any further. Look there in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kind of gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering. 
If we eliminate those, then the area will be safe. Thank you. But I must warn you. Don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. Uh... Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside of the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. You ready then? Let's go. Stop walking me during the cutscene. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Okay. We did it! Everything's returning to normal now! Yes, thanks to you two. We were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? Alright, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? But why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Ermansol before? Yep. Ermansol is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermansol. Spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermin's soul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin's soul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gondarvaville. Okay. 
What are those things? What is this? What is I, I I approached it. Did I do something? Did I do something wrong? Oh! Should I kill you? Is there a point to this? These are shiny, I'm just gonna walk with them. <laughs> and we're walking the entire way to everywhere. Because I said so. Yep, all the way back we're walking. Because now we have a license to kill stuff. now have a saboteur on stream. He's a cat. If you can't tell. <laughs> Hello. You gonna lie down? You gonna lie down? You're kind of lying on top of this, but I'd rather you lie on top of the, uh, the wires than chewing them. <laughs> Silly thing. Comfy. Oh, he's doing the thing where he just bats my head for pets, and he's adorable. And she is. Oh, 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 he's being cute. He's batting me. <laughs> he's so cute. You're the cutest! Yes you are. Oh, oh, oh. He lifts his paws and he's... He's patting me. <laughs> oh, now he's curled up properly. Ah. Oh. Oh, he's snuggling. Oh. He's going to sleep in me, don't you? He's going to sh Oh, don't eat the microphone. <laughs> I kind of don't want you to sit on that part of the wire. Okay, okay, that's fine. <sighs> Who's a good boy? You? The best boy. Best boy. Best boy, Katie Cat. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The it's gone. The zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Oh. Did I hear a dog? Wait, is that? Oh, it's a bird. Oh no, Hapasia. Huh? Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? This dusk bird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. Oh. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? <sighs> Just let Paimon read it. Huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. <sighs> yes. Allow me to explain. After we brought you from Apasia's cave to Gandarbaville, Apasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly like three kid. days since she's had anything to eat. Here she's forgotten to prepare some rations. 
This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? <laughs> well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time she drew five lines. And by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I prefer not to remember that. Huh? Needless to say, Paige has been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. Okay, but if I keel over, it's your How fault. You When we were clearing the withering zone, I observed that she could adeptly manipulate the dendro element. I knew then that she would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tevat. My forefathers were shown much favor by greater lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermansoul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermansoul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit Borneol are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermansoul, just as you did. was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Please, wait here for a moment. Just sticking his face in the microphone. <laughs> Silly cat. Oh. I don't know, I think I like Toucan's better. Real tukens, not the... Here, that. take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. No. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Hypatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Okay, let me just quickly click this. There we go. Hello. A good boy. You're a good boy? I think you're a good boy. <laughs> He's actually pawing at the microphone. That is very, very bad. Ah. 
also got itchy nose. Oh wait. I forgot something. Hello? Who are you? I like how you get a little boost upwards. If we find our keeled over. Because she's eating some mushrooms. walking <laughs> what no oh, please don't crash again I hope this is just a cutscene Pass out. There you are. Hi, Patia. Are... Uh, uh, so hungry. <coughs> There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Huh? Wait. Let's not. Let's actually. Crash again. We're gonna end up crashing again, aren't we? Well, one hour was a good record, I suppose. <sighs> a door of resurrection. So it's a domain, huh? I'm going over this way because there might be a chest. Oh! <laughs> Please stop looking at me! Hello! Please stop, cat. What 
just happened? I have no context for what just happened. Ah! The cat's finally stopped looking at my arm. Wait. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want to go that way. I am looking for stuff. This is a maze! And amazing. This place is huge! Yep! Mama knew there's something off about that cave. Uh, let's oh, hello. find a way to get over there and have a closer look. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Oh, hello, there's one down there. Eddie you? backwards did I, did I jump across there I'm lost already Ooh. also stuck whoa this is not a quaint room I don't know what this is but it's not quaint wait what suddenly in, in Zuma. Oh. oh, there's a chest. As the saying goes, yoink. Inside now. Okay. Okay. So I should be going back to the other place. Uh, I think this was the other place. Or was it the wrong one? I am lost again. Okay, this is a start. That's fine. I walked up this path before. No, wait, uh... Ah! Oh, 
Hello, cat. You want to come up again? You want to come up? Come on. Come on. There we go. You're going to avoid sitting on, sitting on the wires this time, aren't you? Yep, you're going to lie down. Oh, he's a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you? Goodbye. Uh, look at me, I'm ever so lost. What is this? Oh, here we go, another weird room. Oh wait, this is where I started from. Okay. Woo! Wait, what? Ah! Venti, help me! I've been reduced to you! <laughs> you you were basically a wisp before you were human, so... Ah! This is creepy. This is very, very creepy. I know it's meant to look cool, but it doesn't. Help! Help, I need my arms! Ah, my thumbs are back! Lovely! <laughs> I'm going to do that again. Oh. What? What is this? Oh, it does do damage. Okay. Nice to know. Uh... How do I need to get up there? I'm assuming there's a method. I don't have Zhongli on me. Wait, can I just walk up here? Ah. Sora. Can't climb. Help! How? New. No. Oh, I'm blind. Okay. We went up this way. Three of them? Okay, I do need three. I think. One more. Uh... Oh, it's right there. Why is this one so easy? I'm feeling somewhat disappointed here. I hope I haven't missed the chest. Please let me in. This I need to get out of this, out of this weirdness. Ah! More weirdness. Look at this weird stuff. Hmm? Isn't it all weird? Why Inazuma? I desperately desire an answer. Why? What is going on here? This place is getting weirder by the minute! Yep! Hey! What's the matter? You don't look so good! Oh dear. Oh, I've done this before. Who thought I was domain did this? There we are. Can't move. Oh, that's weird! That's very weird! It's like the fully background just suddenly becomes a picture. It's weird. Ah! Here we go again. Oh, who's a good kitty? Are we actually in Ermin or whatever it is? Then free him to strike against the enemy. Oh, he's doing the thing where he pets where he pets me so I can pet him. I'm petting you, I'm petting you. Oh 
You're very affectionate when you're bored, aren't you? He's a good boy. What? Okay, that was unexpected. Staring directly at me, it's weird. No, I don't have the right team for this. My cat is backing a bit. Eh. Did I hit it with a? the sky but don't you fret now today will be your last now die hello I don't think I've crashed, but... <sighs> Hello? Hello? This the end of the game? Did I die? Oh well. <laughs> it was a good game. The ending was a bit abrupt. <coughs> Check it's not toxic. Toxics first. <sighs> uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh. Huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hapisha. So, you're friends of Tainari. 
I apologize for all the trouble I've caused here. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. Uh, well, I mean, we were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this... Oh. Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh... Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Oh? So, you're able to see them too? Wait, hold on a second, Traveler. You say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the Traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. So, Hypatia, just what kind of... I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then... And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. Yes, no <laughs> doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. <laughs> well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. Alright, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet... Mm. Sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> You're hopeless. Where is the fireside? Fireside? Is this? Ah, it's outside. That makes sense. Already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delect. Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul. Immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time, it took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin's soul as you have. So, why does this insect? 
incense allow people to connect to ermine soul? The ingredients used to make spirit born ale primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermin Soul, <sighs> we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the earth. This does sound sort of like um drugs. <laughs> Naturally, anyone who can establish a connection with Ermin Soul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was she sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to her body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, she could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. Hence, the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Borneo would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. But unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of Spirit Borneo should no longer trigger such reactions. Could you teach me this, those oh. techniques? Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermin Soul at will. Whoa! You're really serious! <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritawes Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know. Especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Let's go drag Mona in. That's why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermin Soul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermin Soul will be successful, or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Whoa. So knowledge from Ermin Soul can- Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight. And dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living near- I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Ah, huh. is that true? Yes, well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality. But that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. Sounds exhausting. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. But I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. Well, maybe section off part of your mind and just ignoring it isn't really <laughs> a good idea at all. Ever think of that? <clears throat> uh, 
Just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things she saw when she connected with Ermensel? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermensel itself. Hmm. World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? Hello? Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life. I might have some more answers for you. Ah, uh, if you two are ever in the oh. area again, Cats up again. please be sure to come Third and time. see me. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> okay, you gonna lie down? Oh, he's a good boy. Now that we know her page is alright, and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gondarvaville. Oh. Hello? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Out, I see. If there's anything oh. else you'd ever like to ask about, you take care. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, just pressing his face into the microphone. Oh. Try, try not to eat it, please. <laughs> uh. Ah. So adorable! You're doing the headbutt thing. Oh, did I not pet you enough? I'm petting you. I'm petting you. I'm petting you. Like it? Uh. Oh, oh, you're so cute! You're so cute! a good boy. Oh. <laughs> You're a very good boy, but I need to click the glide, okay? Because I don't want to die. Oh, who's a good boy? You just like rubs. You just like rubs, don't you? He's a good kitty. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher, and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kajé clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you can- I am merely a forest watcher. How could the- <laughs> Well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's Hello. reputation. Hello. Yep, me He's too. He's a renowned sage Fantastic. of Mortar, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. I see. Huh. And I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. If you hear any str anything strange in audio, it's my cat. He's literally purring into the microphone. Oh. Here you go. <laughs> Good on you. Can you play Genshin on it? <laughs> cat, can you not eat the- don't eat the microphone, please. <laughs> Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort. And now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll know, once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. And how long will I be required to stay? 
Um, there's no definite answer as of now. Do you mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Kandarbaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. I like that one. I like Kaji's voice. I like their uniforms, actually. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing. Some people from the academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a project. I don't think I have the height to pull off. Account of all my responsibilities here. I don't have the height, the right height to cosplay as that. <laughs> but all that can wait. How did things go with Hapasia? It was quite the eventful trip. But the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us too. Very good. Now that the traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be going to Sumeru City, correct? Oh, cat. Right. Ah, ha, ha, ha. what the heck, cat? And ask her for advice. Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh? What is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise. So I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next up, Sumeru City! Uh, that's right! Kainari, we have something important. Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. Thanks, Kainari. All right. Farewell. Ooh, cat, cat, cat. Just, he gets up, he gets down, he gets up, he gets down. Cat, what the heck? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> My Tenari's better. <laughs> what do you think? Eh. Kale is waiting at the northmost crossing of Gundarbaville. It seems there's a major project, but I can't afford to leave Gundarbaville now. <laughs> Things are not going well here in the rainforest, and Kale needs someone to watch over her. Besides, I was never one for all the pomp and circumstance of life at the Academia. Given that my master hasn't come to give me an earful personally, it tells me that my presence is not as sorely needed as they make it out. Kale is waiting at the northmost crossing of Gundar. Farewell, Trap. Oh, doggies. Ah, I've been waiting for you two. I, uh, well, uh, <sighs> never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Don't worry about me, I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the end, uh... Well, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. I just... But I guess now I understand that the most... There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting... We're probably still gonna worry about your condition. But thank you. I, the thing is, I, can, I can read a lot faster than they can speak. Uh, <laughs> before you leave, I have something... Oh? 
Look, it's my recipe for pita pockets. Ooh. I told you. Yay! Thanks, Kale. I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember. Well then, I trainee forest ranger Kale. Okay, we're going. Ugh. I'm contemplating doing this in the next stream. <laughs> yeah, I think I will actually. So what are we gonna do in the meantime? Uh <laughs> it would take ages for these to come back. I can grab a few more of these. And I did actually do some off stream. I did actually go off stream and do some grinding for these. Also, oh, just five condensed resin. It's so unbelievably bad. Not the artifacts, but just how many I got that weren't gold. <laughs> but at the same time... Can I do that today? I can do this today. That's what we're doing today. <laughs> I have so much condensed resin. This is where we're going. Uh. Hmm, let me think. I'm glad I unlocked that before, before I went. Hang on. Uh. Let me check something. If I just teleport in, will that start the quest? Yep, it will. Not good. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to Monstat. I'm gonna condense some resin. Because right now Tanari's um <laughs> he's very weak right now. Let's grab that condensed resin before it runs out. <laughs> See what our first experience in co-op for this is. Or am I even going to be leveling up? Ah, oh yeah. <laughs> Did only just release, so understandable. I've never actually been in this domain. Cause this is this is just an early talent stream. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think those robes really work with curves. <laughs> uh, wait. Uh, ah, me neither. I've been into two total now. <laughs> so I did do one. I did stumble on one in, briefly. Look how many of these I've got left. <laughs> I don't know what to use them for, though. Uh, right, hang on. I am doing the fishing stuff all stream. Hang on. My cat is just all over the place today. Ooh, another one. Convenient. <sighs> I could... Let's try this once as myself, because I'm very curious. Oh, 
Oh wait, I clicked match by accident. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> Loading. It's taking so long. Come on. Oh, whoa. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> oh. Let's all do this to Nari. Oh, I can't. Uh. Wait, wait. Oh. Okay. Please, can I get in before the the background noise just kills me? Please, here we are. Never been in this domain. I don't know what we're fighting. I have no clue. Oh, you've been here before. Okay. Ah, two dragons. Never fought this before. Help! I'm gonna do this once. I might just do this by myself. Convenient. I think I'll shove five condensed resin into here and just call it a day. <laughs> ah, something was killing me. I knew it. We all did that on purpose. Fine. to go. <laughs> I want to farm for Tanari, but this is high level I can get at the moment without lotuses. Right. I can't believe they'd kill me in the status screen. Or nearly kill me. Ugh. Come on! Games is half loading screens. Uh. We out. We out. Yay.
No, I want to try this. Just myself. That'll do. There's still four more people away from the Skyrim VR goal. Goal. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Down here. Down. Okay, that is a lot of fun. I'm going to continue because I don't want to do this in co-op because it's, it's too much fun. I like swapping between everyone. I think I'll stick to just doing sumer, sumeru domains in solo. <laughs> oh, I've just been skipping around sumeru off screen, just getting the waypoints and quite literally running from every single fight. <laughs> There are no lotuses in this world. I've gone everywhere. So Tanari's gonna stick at level 70 for a while. <laughs> Was it level 70? Yeah, 70. Uh. Ah. Point in the whipping zone. Well, I haven't actually run, run into a scary part of that yet. Ah. You get down here! Ah! Not yet. Well, don't give me too much spoilers right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm just a baby here. <laughs> 
I'm just starting. Oh, hello, that's nice. Let's continue. Well, I'm done. It's a spoiler. <laughs> it's a spoiler for me. I haven't done any of that yet. Uh, I've, only, I've only gotten the main, um, the main great big waypoints. <laughs> And a few of the ones that this, I just happened across. Hang on, where's a map? No, I don't want to do that. Quite. Yeah. Yeah, I've only got like a few of them. <laughs> and some dom some domains I have completely missed. See? Yeah, it doesn't really show up in this map, does it? <laughs> I think I got... I think I got rid of one of the Wuthering domains here. That's because I was trying to find lotuses I couldn't find. Hmm. Still haven't been to this thing yet. <laughs> anyway. Uh, wait a second. Can I... I just want to look at the page. <sighs> What would you reckon is a priority? Eh. So that's skill damage, that's... Uh... I think it's this one. I think this one's a priority. I'm, I'm, I'm copying Ganyu here. Just checking how much of these. Uh. Can't put all these up to one. Uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. Uh, is this doesn't do anything for the cooldown. Uh, I'm guessing here. Should be slightly better now. I'm not using the best kit, I'm using a weird kit. <laughs> Come on! Show up! Ah! Hit something! Sorry, that one before I did the quest. Okay. 
once more with feeling. <laughs> Martinari is slowly becoming stronger. Grab it then. I do want to save some for actually ascending him. Uh, who should I heal first? Come on. Leave. I was gonna use more resin, but eh. Let's not. <laughs> I think I wanna go have a look around actually. There's so many waypoints I can grab. Or actually, more lotus that I can find. Ooh! There's something to grab her right there. Huh? She knows I see. on them. Can we capture those for a strand teapot? I'm just curious. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, there I had a had an idea. On purpose. Hmm. No more of these. Ew. Uh.
Just treat it like um, Inazuma. But prettier. Okay. It's all yours. Kinda wish I hadn't come this far down. What to go back there and get a tiger? Oh well. I'll be back. No, you won't. You're dead. Quite literally disintegrated in the sand. This will do. I like these more than the treasure hoarders, to be honest. Okay, let's make sure it's the right ones. Need to cross. Now these ones are sort of aggressive, right? Are they still aggressive? Well, oh, I said they were aggressive, I didn't say they were competent. <laughs> Inactivated. Uh. What's the. Uh... new ones. No, I don't think this is... No, this isn't what I was on about. Uh... Ah. Wait, so... Ah, thank you. Explosant to power electrical scorch or activate it, respectively. more of these but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to swap the team aren't I? Uh, it's a fun team but I kinda need them for Tanari to be, you know, unsimulated. There we are. Uh, I don't think Ningguang has literally anything on her. And what she does have is probably junk. Yeah. <laughs> Wanderer's troop. There we are. Uh-huh. Uh. Yeah, 
I've taken basically all of Ganyu's stuff. <laughs> given, the, given it all to Tatari. <sighs> Most of Ganyu's stuff. Why do you even have that? Yoink. Uh Do I need an HP cup? Yoink, why do you even have that? <sighs> Wait. Okay, where's Goro? Cause isn't this his his piece? Ah, well, you know what that'll that'll do. Uh, yeah, she'll do. Everyone else I know at least, at least is fine. This is what the use for Geo is. <laughs> Not activate them. Fungal spores, yes. I'm going to navigate here and try not to unlock that. There was a ding. I didn't see which direction it was. Up there first. No. Welcome, welcome. What? You are not welcome here. This is Whoa! Giant cow! Hammer! Thank Did they seriously just kill themselves? Oh, no. okay. I'm killing stuff, I don't... So I should extinguish these flowers first, give them time, and give them time to, um, unelementize. <laughs> well, I think after this, I'm just gonna. Get... Order. 
I'm just gonna log off after this actually. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna log off, okay. Bye! <laughs> Bit sudden, but... I'm sneezing. Well... It's too much fluff, cat fluff over the place. Also, I'm exhausted. <laughs> anyway, I'll pick up where we started at the, Ar at the Archon quest tomorrow, okay? We'll be doing this. <laughs> Just that part of the Archon quest. Ooh. Bye! See you tomorrow.